Hey everybody, this is Darkside, and welcome back to part 43 of our Dark Souls walkthrough. And here we are, the final area, Kiln of the First Flame. It's time for us to come down here, take on Gwyn, and see what happens. Now one of the first things you want to do here is to make yourself as light and mobile as possible. You've got to fight a series of black knights in order to even be able to get to the boss fight. Now these black knights, you should have enough experience with the silver knights and the regular black knights in order to know exactly what to expect. And there's one of every kind on your way down, each weapon style I mean. Honestly, the best way to take care of these guys is either backstab or oppose. I tend to prefer backstabs. Also, you'll notice that each one of these guys will drop a Titanite chunk of some kind. You're going to get one of every kind and two regular Titanite chunks in here. This is also a great place to farm the Black Knight weapons had you not already gotten them from the ones you meet in the world. I also spend a few times running through here just to go ahead and load up on shards, make sure I've got everything that I want done, done as far as upgrading weapons. And I don't do them all, but I do try to at least get some of the achievements while I'm down here creating the, the great weapons. Of course, you don't get slabs here. It'd be great if you did. Now this one here, if you start running out there, you'll wind up having to fight him on these little narrow walkways. Not the best idea. I tend to use an arrow and bring him over here to this area. This is about as far as you can really pull him before he starts wanting to go backwards and go back to where he came from. Of course, one backstab's not enough. You have to follow it up. And for some reason, that one missed. My timing wasn't exactly right, and he got his shield up. But these Titanite chunks are guaranteed here. So you will always get two regular titanite chunks, one red, one blue, one white, by killing all of these guys. Now the only real pickup here is this item right over here, and what this is is the entire Black Knight armor set. It is pretty decent armor, but I tend to like the stuff that I'm wearing right at the moment a little better. Mainly it scales better. You see, off to the left over there, we'll go back. That is Solaire's summon sign. If you manage to save him from his fate with the Sunlight Maggot, that's exactly where you're going to find him. We got two more to go. Careful with the last two here. One is the one that wields the large battle axe and the other one, the halberd. And both of them have a jump attack. And 
get that backstab there on you. So we can't line this shot up here. Now I am planning on summoning Solaire for this fight, mainly because he is a wonderful distraction. And if you're having problems beating this boss, then really he's the way to go. And the reason why that is, is because he's a distraction. Gwen is nothing if not fast, and his hits do hit for quite a lot of damage. One of the easiest ways to actually beat him is simply by reposing him. He's quite capable of being reposed, and I think that's actually the preferred method of being able to do it. I'm going to use Solaire in this fight, so I'm actually not going to be reposing him much, mainly because I'm not going to have his attention. So we've killed the knight here. It's time to summon Solaire and see what happens. Now this was the very first time that I've ever actually used Solaire in this fight. So it was a little different for me. But altogether, he really made the fight considerably easier. I don't manage to take him down on this. Well, I do and I don't. I died right before Gwen did, so we had to do the fight over again. But you'll notice here that Solaire does most of the attention keeping. And honestly, as long as he's doing that, Gwen's really not that hard to take down. As I said, watch him though, because he does move quickly and he's got a rather far-reaching leap attack. Also notice that that sword, once he starts swinging it, hits everything in its path. And it does hit hard. See, once he's on you, he's actually rather hard to get off of you. You can, however, use these pillars around here to your advantage. While he is trying to get through a pillar, it gives you the opportunity to heal up and do what you need to do. Now, if you notice there, while he had Solaire in that attack there where he impaled him and then threw him out, he is completely immune to damage at that point. So save your swings. See, I would have gotten him here quite easily had I not been foolish and gone for that last attack. And you'll see Solaire comes in here, does a quick thrust, and finishes him off. Unfortunately, I'm already dead. If that had been any other boss, I would have most likely been able to walk back into that room and not have to kill him again. Fortunately, I am able to fight him once more. Time to become human again, because we're still going to be summoning Solaire. Once you do this run a few times, mainly if you decide to farm this area, you'll get fairly efficient at killing these Black Knights. They do have considerable amounts of HP, and once you finally get through to this point on New Game Plus, they are a lot harder than they are right now. But mostly, just keep out of the way of their weapons. Go in for a backstab. If you get good at reposing, that's also an excellent way to beat them.
trying to move through this section as quickly as possible. Also keep in mind that if there's anything else in this game that you want to do, do it before you fight this battle. Because as soon as you do, and you win, you are transported back to the very beginning of the game and it's time to start this all over. Now, I thought about actually summoning Solaire here in order to help me with the last two knights, but really, he'd probably just get in the way more than anything, and I want him to be at maximum health for this fight, so it's best to just not summon him until I've got everything cleared out. That was way too high. Uh, aim's horrible here. It's a good thing I've had a few arrows. Get the last one here. Okay, let's go grab Slayer and go finish this up. Alright, Slayer, it's time to go forth and gain honor and glory. Or something like that, anyway. Slayer's usually a little slow, so sometimes you might have to wait for him a little bit. What he loses in speed, he makes up for in toughness. Unfortunately, in this particular fight, I was not able to save him. Gwen gets some really good, strong hits right out at the beginning, and you'll notice me in here starting to use a lot of Estus potions, trying desperately to keep Solaire alive, and I'm not able to do it. See, this time, however, I'm not being quite as aggressive. I'm being a little more defensive, trying to get in, take my shots whenever possible. Trying to stay away from those attacks. It's 
So then poor Solaire is over there taking a feeding. And that's my cue to get out of there, unfortunately. Trying to heal him up a little bit. But unfortunately, it's not going to work. So, Solaire's not going to get to last much longer. And this is, I believe, the one that finishes him off. However, he was already down a fair amount of health himself, so Gwen takes the fall. Okay, it's decision time. There are actually two endings to this, and it really just depends on exactly what you want to do. I guess you could call them good and bad decisions. I think it's really a little more along the lines of how you look at it. Decision number one, go over there and link the fire, which is essentially to restart the fire, which is supposed to burn out all of the undead. The second option is to just leave this place flat out and let darkness come in. Now you might think that letting darkness enter really is the bad ending, but I would call it more the informed ending. Remember, it was all the bad people that were the only ones who were able to tell you the truth. So I chose to leave. You'll also notice that both Cap and Framp are there. And that will complete our Dark Souls walkthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I had making it. Thanks everybody for watching this. And we will see you next time.